Welcome back. Right, we do some changes because there's some things in this band bill which are just not working. That table. Now, when I built this van, I had the visions of having the table set up up to the window line edge because I didn't. These are factory fit windows. These. I was limited to where I can set a table to on that one. Well, I was, but I'm not now. But the problem is, Evo seat boxes are absolutely massive. And when I say massive, I mean like the depth wise of it. You know, they're quite high. So then your seating's quite high on top, and then you've got your thickness of your cushions as well. Now you think, if you didn't have your cushion on, the gap between the table and the base, uh, you know, it's manageable, that, but you've got to take into account the cushion. Uh, yeah, you, when you sit on it, you know, it does squash down, but it's all right for my daughter, because you've only got, like, little legs like that big. But you get an adult in there, and it's quite a tight fit, really. And it's quite uncomfortable, so it's gonna have to go in it basically that table leg won't extend that's its maximum point now you could add a bit into it and go up with it but the problem i've got is as you can see you, you're starting to restrict the driver's seating position then because the, the chair actually comes up to the back of the table so it's quite tight really you know on the back of it so you're losing quite a bit of driving space you know within that not so bad for me because it's set up for me but if anyone taller wants to drive the van or anything like that they want the seat back you're up against the table and then you're basically knocking that forward which is an absolute pain in the ass the reason why i went for this sort of table was because i could lower that leg down to the level of this unit and pretty much level across so when that seat flips around the front seat you could make a bed that was the idea behind it just put make like a small bed in the front and that never been used like but i mean two minds whether to keep that idea because it's always good to have a little bit of space i didn't know whether to look at the cab bunks which i like the idea of that but i don't know i'm a bit i'd have, probably only have, have a two to them and see what the script is with that that's not working so it's got to go so the table leg what did i buy well, i bought this so i got this off amazon that's your plate where your table attaches to and then you've got your wall mount so that mounts on the wall so that's going to be another thing which i have to look at a backing plate for it the top mount which that top plate mounts to on a bracket and that spins and then that then mounts one of these that one the big one at the back so basically that goes sits like that and then you can move that leg about and you can have it just up and down that's the plan anyway with the table leg so i'm going to have to look how i'm going to mount this because at the back of my table it's going to be mounted on this back wall here now it's finding somewhere which i can get into solid metal there because i can't get this panel off but i can pull it back so much but you've not got much movement in it really this is something what should have been done from you know the start surprise surprise everything else about it as usual but we'll learn so this will mount somewhere around here like that now i don't want it too low because you'll lose stability at the table so you have it quite i'd say about there so it gives me an option then to move the table up. I'll probably have to pull it over a bit more and centralise it like that. And then we'll get that bolted into it. Now, I need to check behind that to see what's in it. Because you can't just screw it to the ply because it'll just rip it off the bloody wall. We'll crack on anyway. Get this panel pulled off to the side so we can see where I'm going to with it. I'll mount the rails up and everything and we'll see how it goes on that one. And then I'll mount the table up there and I'll off the table head up to it. And I'll see what, just see what I'm playing with really. It gives me a bit more flexibility with the table. So we should be right with that. You've got to love the instructions what comes from these companies. I'll tell you what insulation step one right find the corresponding m10 screws handles and gaskets in the picture very much no picture which are in the accessory bag then stuff them into the screw holes i'm not joking luke stuff them into the screw holes of the table leg honestly stuff them must have been on one of my bills these lot tell you <laughs> right come on let's chat let's get this on we'll see how this one turns out so it's not too bad this knocking these up really it's just a case of stick it square head into square all round head no wrong screw he says and then sticking around the lot other side that's it that's one done uh, send on thinking on i think i should have gone this way when i first did this build but jonesy's bright idea is creating another bed that didn't quite work so we live and learn lad we live and learn honestly these builds right are never ending there's always something he's doing. There's always something he's changing. I suppose until you've actually used the vans, you don't really know what what works and what doesn't really. I mean, just tried and tested stuff, but does it function for you? That's that's the thing, isn't it? That's what it's all about. Don't forget to put your washers on as well, like I've just done. So get your bean, that's your stand up bit. And that one, depending on where you want the handles going, and that goes inside there. Oh, that goes on there like that. Get it right down. Oh, so it clicks. And then lock that off, and then that should be a solid frame. Then you got your top plate. This one has all those bungs in. That basically goes in the top section. And it says make sure you mount it flush. Okay, now you might need a hammer on that one. <sighs> you, know, you can't be asked me to take garage one day and hammer for that. 
What a corner. Go and get it. See you in a minute. Wash his eye that lad. Rubber arm should all damage the paint. And basically that goes on there. There you have it. The table leg. So that attaches to the van. That swivels. Very tight. And then your top bit also pivots as well. So when your seats are all swiveled, you've got a bit more movement, you know, with your table and stuff. And also a nice little design as well on that is these are ratchet handles. You push the button in on it, it slides the cap up. And you can tighten that up. Because if you think you go up to the table there and you get that locked up. If that gets stuck up there, you think, hmm, I can do that. Basically, just push a button. You can ratchet your handle on top. And touch. Not a bad touch. Thinking on, I might have swapped them. Because you think your table's got to be that side onto your legs. Like that. You don't want them twatting legs underneath you. So we might swap that around. Get it on the wall first. I'm going to jump a bit ahead too much now. That bit next, prop. Right, so that's the back paddle on now. Somebody scratched it. That's secured into metal frame, so the frame comes actually down here. So the top three have got purchased into metal body, and these two are in the panel. I'm hoping that should hold it. It should be right that like. So we'll stick table leg on now, see what this looks like. And I'm hoping that this don't fall off. Definitely looks a lot better than what it was anyway. You've got the option then, raising that up. Loads of leg room there. But also you've got the swivel function. Which I like a lot. I think we'll get them tightened up and then see what the table lead looks like. Get out. Go on. Psst. Go away. Get out. Go. Get out. I ain't got a clue whose cat that is. Right, problem with this now is first issue. So where that clamp is there now to tighten the basically the pole up or this box section. Because it only goes up to this section here, up to here. And because I put my plate up here, which I never thought of, it doesn't really reach the pinch point, so that is still loose even though that's tightened up oh nightmare so what i'm gonna to have to do with this now because i've mounted this up here which gives it a bit more support plus i can get into the metalwork of the van i didn't want it over here i didn't want it on the b pillar either because it looks loose anyway i've ordered another one of these so that'll go at the bottom there which will allow me then to lock up on the actual plate to be fair it's still quite high where it is now but you've got a lot of movement in it which not too happy with that really i thought that would have been a bit more rigid but I suppose when that bottom bit's locked on, then you'll get your rigidity out of it then. So we'll see how it goes. So what I'll do is get the table top on it and we'll see where, where it moves and what it plays with. Right, so that's mounted now. When I get that bracket for the bottom there, it'll be a lot more stable. I mean, it's quite rigid now, like, you know, you're not too bad. Put a bit of pressure on that, but when it's clamped at the bottom there, you'll stop that movement then, he says. I'm hoping it does anyway. And if I order one, right, what a faff trying to get my bottom plates for that. Well, backing plates and it's in silver. So what I've paid for that now, if I match this. So these jobs, man. Start something that should have been simple. That take that table out and mount that. Yeah. It's that bottom plate fastened on now. That's solid. I tell you, it's probably overkill for a table leg, like which it is. But we've got kids in that. I guarantee it's going to be bouncing all over that table. And because I can't bolt it to the framework, I've only got so many points where it's mounted to metal. So I think that. Oh yeah, that's solid. That I tell you, we know where. We'll get these drilled and screwed, and then get this tabletop on. So there she is, bolted up, super strength. That ain't going nowhere, that. Let's get his tabletop on. And then we'll see how that looks. Right, so that's tabletop stuck in now. And I cut this out here for the original table. So it went around the B pillar. So I wasn't too sure if I needed to, you know, change this tabletop if I had to or nothing. But to be fair, it's actually allowed with that room to spin it. So basically, when that driver's seat span round, you basically got a sideways table there. Move that over a touch, swing it round, whatever. Yeah, you got a little cut out there, but tell you what, that's actually worked out better than I thought it was, actually. And basically, swivel it back. And like I said, good job that corner's cut out, because you never get that around, actually. And then, when you're done, put it back where it is. We've got absolutely tons of leg room now, which we didn't have at the old table, because it was literally like that. No doubt the daughter's going to test it. She'll probably uh, snap it or rip it off the wall or something. But I'm not saying she's boisterous, right? But, you know, you like George. Can you have the scooter? You scooter in? Yeah. Right, baby. Be careful. A minute. Why, I never get no videos started, me. Uh, monkey, right? He's 100% attention all the time. Gotta love her for that, like, but... <sighs> so I'm going great, huh? 